Real ones know. Yes, sir. Just being somebody that the neighborhood respected. Season two, episode my number four. Be proud of was the apple in my four. eye. That's all I ever wanted. Just, just being okay. something, man. So at that point, what else could you ask for? Music. Tears running down the nigga face. In a room full of failures, I feel out of place. Back in Still this thing. on the floor when you deserve better. Pause. Got you reading through the cold <laughs> even in warm weather. I told Meek I wouldn't trust Nikki. Mm. Instead of beefing with your dog, you just give him some distance. Mm-hmm. We all make mistakes, let's not be too wow. specific. But like I'd rather be a killer than be a statistic. I never fold, no, I never ran. On my soul, I roll like an avalanche. I thank the Lord I got some great friends. That's why every bottle I open, I say amen. Ross in his Just bag. Just had a seizure at the Super Bowl. Woke Let up in the third in. quarter looking for Ross the smoke. Top 10? If it's more than a quarter million, no, I man. count it twice. That's a conversation, you broke my heart, shit, I call it life. That's a real conversation. Never will I call it right. Not perfect, but I'm the one you would call it night. Damn. Traveling the world, I'm of his era. City. Oh, for sure. But rarely do I hear that this nigga done did it. But niggas in fatigues will keep you intrigued. Cause the loss of life the only thing niggas believe. So I pray you listen carefully And I'll become another motherfucking casualty Always speak and sing This is my favorite part You know I like to sing, nigga You just never ever walk away Real ones know we back in the building And more Got my boy South Beach Run What up, Joe? L.A. Run Uh, The cars, a.k.a. Trig We waiting on, you know He he ain't in here yet. He ain't got. He ain't made it yet. But we waiting on him. He on the way. I just up my stop. Fuck them cops. If you love hip hop, bust them shots. Your man priceless. If your man's loyal. That new rock that I'm having me going back, man. Mm-hmm. If you cut getting ready for. I'm getting ready. How many classic Allen Rock got? That's a tough one, right? That's tough. I'm thinking. So we call him the first in the class? Nah. Okay. I'll change them. I thought about it. See, we got to count mixtapes too, though. Cause so that's what I'm like saying. So that's what I'm saying. Yeah, so. Yeah. So, because if we talk about people like Lil Wayne or who else? Well, let's use Lil Wayne, for example. Mm-hmm. If people talk about him being a top five, top ten artist, they got to include mixtapes. Got to. You. That's it. So if we do that for him, we got to include mixtapes for everybody, though. Ross had a run, man, where, man, he was dropping some. Sis. Yeah, Ross, man, he uh definitely, um, he top five of his era, though. Last 10 years, though. Last 10, 15 years. <clears throat> he might be top five. Top 10. Who got a better catalog than Ross? So Ross' first album came out in 2006. Yeah. Who, but who who has a better catalog than Ross? That's currently rapping right now. In Elvis. Who? Who? How many people you could say? Not including the goats, right? I'm saying you can include, but I'm saying you, you can't really name a whole bunch of people that got a better catalog than Ross. If we count people that came out. Just Elva. 06. Elva. How many people you can say they got a better catalog than Ross? It's hard to say, man. Ross got many albums. He got about 10, 12 albums. Yeah. If we count them classic mixtapes, he got about three, four classic mixtapes, and they like albums. Man, it's, it's, it's hard. Like, how you. You know what I'm saying? Like. I, I tell you what, let's Rich do it like that. Ever. That's a mixtape, right? Yeah. Sheesh. And I wasn't even that crazy about that one. People like thought that was classic. Albert Anastasia. Oh man, now that was crazy. That was crazy. That was crazy. Uh Ashes to Ashes. Yep. That one was like the best one to me. Uh was so, it Black? What is it? Black Dollar? Black Dollar. That's a classic mixtape. Um Oh, it was a tough mix. We're going we gonna to rate it like an album. Are we saying That's Triller, a, a classic? Nah, Triller, not a classic. As okay. far as albums go, a lot of people try to say, or a lot of people say uh, Teflon Done. But that one, a classic to me, 
Cause it was like About three songs I really ain't I ain't like Like the song he had was 11 Diddy. songs though So you know He was going that way with it Aston Martin Music BMF MC Hammer Number one I ain't like that song Super High That's cool Love Fast Die Young yeah. Maybach Music 3 Tears of Joy was crazy Freemason Good record I'm not a star Like that one I'm not a star <laughs> mm-hmm. I ain't like that yeah. version I like the one, the Wayne version though. On Wayne album, on a uh, Carter Four. John, it's called John. Mm-hmm. I like that version better than the one that was on Ross album. But I can see how people say, it, but that number one song was just so trash to me, man. Deep in and the I, rap, that's a classic. Uh, uh-uh. mm-hmm. that that song he had with uh, the I think the last song on that Teflon Dunn with Raphael Sadiq. Mm. I ain't really like that song. I ain't think that was that was that good of a song. And okay. like the bonus version, he had the song with uh All the Money in the World. Yeah, that's the one with Raphael S D. What's the song with that this song he had the little dude on there who was singing like had the all white video on it was like with Nelly on that joint. That was what you talking about reach off cocaine? Oh no, nah, you talking about uh <laughs> Here I Am. Here I am. <laughs> Avery Some. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's on uh Triller. Triller, okay. Yeah, they rich out cocaine though. That's on uh, deeper than rap. See, deeper than rap. The re- the song I ain't like on that was uh, the shit with Robin Thicke was trash. The shit with the Dream was trash to me. All right, so question: Are we saying this is a question? Is Jeezy catalog better than Ross? That's a good question. Cause see, Jeezy I want to. Yeah, okay. Wait, cause Jeezy got an album coming out in a couple of weeks. Mm-hmm. So I want to wait, cause we said we were gonna talk about Jeezy. So I, let's wait until Jeezy album come, come out and see, and then we'll get. But on, let's say this though: we'll dive into. Let's uh, do the first three albums. Though. The first three though, I think Jeezy got them though. Jeezy first three. Yeah, but like you said, we can go. Over I mean, that. so uh, that's a uh, third motivation. One on one. What's a uh, Ross first? Port of Miami. Mm-hmm. I don't know that like at the time, so but the motivation still. Because yeah. the thing about Ross on them first two albums, and half of that that third album, what Ross did, and shout out my boy Brad, uh, number one engineer in the state. Uh, on the day, Brad homies. can tell you about this, mm-hmm. about stacking, Ross stacked vocals mm. on that them first couple of albums. Like he was like rap, you could tell he was rapping with himself. Now you hear him. Those songs we just played, that's one, that one vocal, and he probably copied and pasted his uh the tracks to make the the sound sound like thicker pause, the sound heavier pause, <laughs> and the um the other ones you could hear him rapping with himself, and it sound like, you know what I'm saying? I just it ain't like it. It ain't. Like it didn't have that clean, like a, it didn't. It's not. It wasn't as clean, and people started respecting that rap from Ross Moore after he changed up the way. You know what I'm saying? He was stacking them vocals, but that stuff. You know what I'm saying? People don't really Listen don't even to know like about. That. Yeah, they ain't got the ear for that. You don't understand why you like the nigga more. You know what I'm saying? It's a reason. But why But the engineer, that why. why best engineer in the state. That's why the engineer come in handy, man. So we saying, Jeezy first three albums, right? Let's get it. Thug Motivation 101, 2005. Inspiration, 2006. And The Recession, 2008. Better than Ross' first three? I think better than Ross' first three. Yeah, they better than Ross' first three. Yeah. Shit. <laughs> Who got better mixtapes, though? That's another good, that's another good yeah, question, geez, too. Like, jeez. Yeah, see, that's you know what I'm saying. <laughs> see, see look, this, look, look, let's look at it like this, right? This is what I want to look at right there. <laughs> let's, let's narrow it down to South. South. Best in the South, all time. Top five in the South. Okay. Scarface gonna always be the OG. Yeah. Scarface the GOAT. Scarface the right? GOAT. After that, when I think about it, cause I mean I guess you you can say outcast, you know what I'm saying? I don't really think about them when I think but we can say outcast. For sure. We'll say outcast and scarface, both of them one A, one B, or both of them one one. But People say Wayne. They do include Wayne. People say <laughs> T. 
T.I. T.I. had a great run. Was it, How great was it, though? How long was T.I.'s run? Let's look at it like this. Okay. Well, let's compare T.I. and Jeezy catalog. Who got a better catalog? T.I. or Jeezy? That's another good question. Is that a good question? Is that a tough one? I didn't say who a better rapper. Who has a better catalog, T.I. or Jeezy? All right. <clears throat> so when the last T.I. album okay. you like? <laughs> All right. So listen, let's right, let's go here right quick. So do we give T.I. the nod for being the so-called originator of trap music, though? Give him a nod for what? For being like one of the I mean, first ones to nah. like do the trap. Thing. Cause we can say Jeezy the one blew it all the way up, but we talking about just strictly off of music. Right. And then if we okay, so we figure out the who got the better catalog. All right, so let's compare the first three albums again. Ti first three albums. I'm serious. Two thousand one, trap music. Two thousand three, Urban Legend. Two thousand four. That's gonna be tough. That's it's gonna tough. Be, that's gonna be tough comparing them. Cause not really. I guess to me, uh, those what, albums. What's, I what's, albums what's uh, G's for album? Third motivation. Third motivation. You telling me that's close? With I'm serious. When last time you listen to I'm Serious? Oh, now you saying different time? We talking yeah, about... Yeah, 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 ain't nobody yeah, care about I'm yeah, Serious yeah. when it came out? They didn't. Who ca- When did people ever care about it? They didn't. Really? People like... I think we got to it early, though. Because we was in high school still, so we got... Cause on, I ain't like on. the shit. Okay. I ain't like it. Okay. Like, it's like two songs that I like. Okay. And he even... I heard an interview he did with Talib Kweli. The two songs that I actually liked, he said those are the two songs that people like. That was the... um. Still ain't forgave myself and dope boys in the dope, trap. Dope boys in the trap. The rest of the album, I didn't like it. You know what I'm saying? Heavy Chevys. I ain't like that shit. Like dope boys in the trap and still What's ain't forgave myself name? sounded like I'm I ain't like that shit. No I ain't like that shit. Okay. That ain't sound like Ti. You know I ain't even know Ti at the time. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? But he sounded so natural on dope boys in the trap mm-hmm. and uh, what's the other song I just said? Still ain't forgave yeah. myself. Like he sound natural on that. That was that just flowed. You're so like, uh, come on, that I'm ain't serious. Come on, cuz I'm sick. Tell me the song. Yeah. No. Come on, cuz like that song ain't even mess. Ain't close. That album ain't close to uh, Thug Motivation, bro. Okay. Come on, man. Okay. Thug so, Motivation is. All right. Okay. So thug Motivation. Thug Motivation. Every song know. a hit. That's yeah, true. Every song a banger. Okay, okay, I'm gonna say it like okay, that. Okay, so thug that song. They used to play the whole album in the club. Like you just play the whole album. Whole album. So look. All right. That's the every album. song. So look. It was one album. I'm gonna tear that pussy up. So look. I'll listen to that. They played, they played the whole album in the platinum. The whole album. So, twist your fingers. So what he look. said? Twist your fingers up. <laughs> bang, motherfucker. Bang. That nigga Jesus was that nigga, cuz. Another album. Niggas played the whole album in the club. And I didn't know it was him. Young Jock first album. Young Jock first album. The whole album. album. Yeah, he had a bunch I of hits. was like. Bunch of bangers. The whole album. The right, so look. whole album was a banger. So T.I. second drunk trap music. And inspiration. I, you can get. They even to me. Trap music. Trap Go music. What, get the track. Get the uh, track list. Number one, trap music. Number one, I can't quit. Be easy. No more talk. Doing my job. I'm just doing. Hello, my you job. skipped twenty four, didn't? It? What twenty four? Nah, that, that's on down. Doing my job. Let's get away. Hey, let's get away. Jazzy Faye, twenty four. Rubber band man. Look what I got. That's crazy. I still love you. I Let still me tell love you. you. Yeah. <laughs> But don't <laughs> hate me, shout it. Please don't hate me, shout it. Cause I still love you. Uh um, wish this T I T I P Bezel. Bezel in my watch. You like that? Yeah. That yeah. was hard yeah, to Yeah, that's hard to me. That was cool. It's cool. And uh what the other song you said? What song you said before that? Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. something. Shout it, let, let me. me oh yeah, that was hard something. too. King of the South. I ain't really that one really Be better than me. That was cool, but it went all, you know what I'm saying? Don't love the game. I guess that T.I. That was cool. Yeah, yeah, But, like, that's what I'm saying. Like, back then, like, people like, oh, it's a classic. Yeah. Like, man, that, that app got an L in the double <laughs> XL. <laughs> and it got three mics it's, in the soil. It's crazy how, like, damn, bro, like, in our time, like, niggas really writing albums. Yeah, but that was accurate, though, man. You know what I'm saying? People, like, say, like, revisionist history. But, like, man, that's a classic. I mean, I get it, man. I'm with you. You know what I'm saying? With, uh... Impact or, but Jeezy had more of an impact on trap music. Trap or die, 
Jeezy look. made trap popular. Trap or die. Yeah. Trap, trap or die. die. You yeah. we can't see yeah. we like yeah. forgetting when his most his first two projects that we got hold of. They really, I, uh, the streets is watching. Mm-hmm. His first three mm-hmm. projects we put, mm-hmm. like streets is watching got him popping. Mm-hmm. He did. Got him hot. And Trap or Die took him over the top. Then he came out the album, and that that didn't disappoint. You know what I'm yeah, saying? It didn't disappoint at all. Look, Jesus got so then he was with Boys in the Hood. And, Jesus, the nigga cut. And the thing about Jesus though, what people love is he already had money before everything. You know what I mean? Like he was I already mean, Tilt, They say Tilt had money, or Tilt say he had money. But you know what? It's like I think when Jeezy came, I was like seeing like I we hadn't seen that kind of time since like niggas in the nineties getting like that. You know what I'm saying? Like Jeezy had like. I mean, he had that BML shit. Yeah, yeah, like, exactly. You know what I mean? So it was a lot of, like, lamp. Like, like that whole energy. You know what I mean? Like, the energy was just crazy. So that kind of energy like, like Jesus. we hadn't seen in a long time. Yeah, Jeezy. And BML. Jeezy, was, he was so... Yeah. What that song was, the Air Forces? Yeah. Yeah, yeah I want to hit on that nigga so my... bad. And, and I'm like, damn, nigga, I love yeah, this song. Yeah, this song is hard. You know what I'm mean? saying? Can't walk him high. Yeah, nigga, you remember when niggas thought that was T.I.? Yeah. Nigga, you like, man, that T.I. song? Yeah. And then you listen to them, niggas don't sound nothing, nothing alike. Like. That's crazy, right? But, uh. Urban legend, though. But hold up. What that song was on T.I. that I'm just doing my job? That's hard, though. Yeah. That, uh. Yeah. That beat. That's a Kanye dun, beat. Dun, 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 dun. Mm-hmm. What that boy said. I'm just doing my job. Got mom, dad, wild kid, just like you. Mm-hmm. That shit was hard. Uh, Oshers was few. Hell in high school when you got a hell with the lights, rent, and the gas bill, too. Yeah. Yo, Tilt was going. That's what I'm saying. Like, like cut rap, though. You know what I'm saying? Can rap. But he, what's the next? The next album, though. What's the next one? Uh, Urban Legend. Urban Legend. And Recession. The third, the third album. Urban Legend was tight though, Mo. I know. I I, I, I like saying. half the album. Okay. I like like half of the album. Half of the album yeah. is like just classics. Yeah. And the other half is just like, come on, man, I ain't really yeah. feeling. Like get the track list, cause like the first four songs. First, right. I think like the, the first king. four five songs. Down Mo- with the king. king. That was yeah, cool that's intro. Cool. Then he had the motivation. Motivate. That was classic. That was. <laughs> that like we was riding that. <laughs> nigga, get on your job, nigga. Kill get your job, job Nick. Motivation. Motivation. All right. Uh, you don't know me. Oh, my yeah, see me in the streets, streets nigga. You, you don't know, know me. All right, he all right. had the little hand. <laughs> you don't know. Don't know. <laughs> that what we was doing at yeah. Atlanta. Like, we was in Atlanta. We was in heaven. the A a lot. Yeah, we was in the yeah, we was in the we, we was in the, the, in the A heaven, man. See, yeah, Cuba, yeah, yeah. Cool before social media. The energy was crazy. Yeah. The, the energy over there was crazy. Oh, man, Cause that was one, crazy. that one, G's was getting hot. Then Tip had put that out. Then you like. I was like little small All the little, like the little bug, John like, shit. Yeah, it's great. Yo, yeah. The energy in Atlanta was, was real crazy. different. Number four, ASAP. A-S-A-P. Oh, A-S-A-P. <laughs> Try to play me. Hey. Run up on me. me. Praying for help. That was hard. I'm just praying for help. Yeah, 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 yeah. Why you mad at me? Why you mad? That was hard. <laughs> Get loose for Nelly. That was I hard. hated that. I hated that record. Ten G's. What is it? Four G's and five, five G's and <laughs> one. one. Like, come on, B. Um, um, Schlein? Hold on. Let me see. <laughs> Where we at? Uh, what they do with BG? I ain't like that new. Neither. The greatest with Manny Fresh. I ain't like that. At, at, at first, like, oh, we got Manny Fresh. Fresh. But it was kind of trash. I ain't like that shit. <laughs> I know my people that like down south, hardcore yeah. down south love to, music like, fans. Sam a killers right now for this. Yeah, Sam cussing nigga the fuck out. Uh, get the shit together <laughs> with Lil Kim. I ain't like that neither. Freak though. I love that. Real. Yeah. I had a little girlfriend at the time. You to tell how you play that for? I was like, man, damn. Nigga smashing to rap records Baby back then. Eyes, the baby face. <laughs> she a freak, bro. Countdown. Mommy, daddy, meet him. Maybe have my baby. Bring she him out. Though. Bring him out. Bring him out. It's hard. Hold on, hold on. Away. Countdown. I ain't yeah. like that. Me either. Bring them out. Bring them out. I, I hated that shit. Yeah, I ain't like it either, but it was a big record. Limelight. I hated the that big shit. Big Country Kane. I hated that shit, but I think a nigga uh, out of Montgomery made the beat. Okay. So it's cool. Uh, since a nigga. From... Chilling with my. Chilling with my. Today. Mm-hmm. I like that. I like that. Stand up with Lil Wayne, Trick Daddy, and Lil John. Oh, stand up. Oh, that's classic. That's classic. That was hey, Wayne, like, that's, like, oh, Wayne. That's when Wayne was coming to Wayne. Like, yeah, where that shit at? You gonna stand play it? Stand up. So, wait, so look, 
You don't like what I'm saying, nigga, then nigga, buck. Nigga. Swing when you see me, nigga, you throw them hands up. up. Stand up. So that was a hard record. And also, this that record was hard. That last one. My Life. With oh, that. yeah. Ooh. Yeah, he could say he made a beat for pot. Yeah. But Drug that's related. Then yeah, hustling, you know what I'm saying? But. Oh, them bonus songs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But what that boy said, uh, them two songs were hard, though. My Life? Drug related and... uh. Hustling. Yeah. We hustling. Play it right quick. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Hustling. Like, them song was, like, on the leak. He did, like, the leak. Oh, nah, nah, nah. Yeah, he did the leak, like, a couple years later, and them songs was on it. They ain't showing it. All right, so that's bonus joint, so they ain't showing it on title right now. <laughs> yeah, got hold on, hold on, hold on. This record here, though, was crazy. Put my sound good. Come on, British man. trash. Pay your bro. bill, pay man. Pay your bill. She's gonna pay your bill, man. My folks ain't playing with you, man. Why is it not playing though? Cause you ain't paid your bill, you know what I'm man. Saying? I mean the music. The people ain't playing with your goddamn <laughs> ass, man. No, I'm saying. Motherfucker think he's just gonna be right here playing music and ain't paid the bill. I ain't, I ain't paid the bill. It's on the alright. Let me see where we at. My folks ain't playing with you. <laughs> Nick Stone payment plan 30 years later. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Nick pay half the bill. Payment plan. <laughs> What's that? Oh man, listen, man. It's a chill car still pause. Oh, that what it is? Yeah, man. Hold up, man. Get up out of that, man. Get up out of that. Cars, man. Uh, sound like you heard somebody say. Why is it still car though, man? It's crazy. Hold on, hold on. I got it. What's wrong with saying mute? Man, goddamn, man. <laughs> Yeah, this nigga's oh, yeah. in the club getting crunk still. Yeah. They got a lot of shit that motherfuckers hey, say. Hey, hey, hey. They can't stand up for what they motherfuckers say. Nah, I ain't saying that. Stand up. This is like niggas wearing tar but I wasn't, though. I ain't never wore tar tees. Huh? Stand up. Hey, nigga, backhand bounce like a motherfucker. Bang here. Stand up. Hey. Bang here, bounce. <laughs> like the 90s, I know, but nigga brought it back with this, though. <laughs> he said they brought it back. <laughs> <laughs> they the mouth in a hummingbird ass. Your mouth right that your ass can't cash. And I'm out of your weight class. Huh? Yeah, I love nigga too. Great fag. You talking shit. Handle your fake ass. Hiding yesterday trash. Pull up in the Impala. Man, skip the Wayne part, man. Check, make game over. I holler. Yeah, Wayne showed it there. Wayne showed it there. I'm talking about Ryan now tonight. Come on, man. He go last. That nigga ain't no hip hop here. Really. It's crazy. Now this is Wayne was big, becoming Wayne. Yeah. Nigga, throw a bigger hell on the album cover. Where to my tip? <laughs> Only where I die first. Gotta kill me in this verse. Easy F middle finger to life. So nothing seems critical in the hood. I'm typical. It's really good. It's just prime Wayne. Yo, Wayne, yeah, he coming to it. Sheesh. Okay. Now wait, now that made me now you which alright. That's classic Wayne. Okay, let's finish the G this discussion right, real so, quick. Because I want to ask you about Wayne real quick. Right. So, um Top three, I mean Recession the first three better albums. than that shit. I'm sorry. Recession better the whole recession. Recession's hard. Right. The whole recession classic. Okay. Snowman, look, snow. Look, top five niggas out the south. 
Just no top five? He got to be, cuz. Got to be, okay. Like, if we ain't gonna count Outkast and Scarface, A Ball, MJG, we ain't gonna count them. Okay. Them the OGs and the no UGK. Okay. Them like goats forever type shit. All right, so but let's, let's go We gotta be between Ross and Jeezy. Recession. Now, Wayne and T.I., you might get that. That's a better argument. Mm-hmm. Wayne and T.I. Because both of them ain't been no good for about the same amount of time. <laughs> when last when last Lil Wayne song you like? <laughs> Man, when last time Wayne rap good? Did yeah, you I hear actually the, like? I didn't. Yeah, it's when last time Wayne rap good? Did you hear the song on the uh, Ross album? Yeah, I ain't like it. So you see, so you ain't hear the Pusha T verse. I ain't heard it yet. Okay. Cause I was saying I was like, yo, why would Ross do Wayne like that? that yeah. Cause T- Pusha T is gonna tear his ass up every time. Especially right now. And then when he said, when they, they didn't put it on, then I heard this verse, I was like, oh my God. Yeah. Wayne on the rap about, I don't know what the fuck this nigga talking about. He said something about, you think it's old pussy work? lips. What's old work? Which one? I Wayne? Wayne verse. I mean, I don't, it, it, when he, he cut this. How old it got to be to be good? Mm. You know what I'm saying? He ain't made a good song because since, bro, what's the last Lil Wayne song Card you three? like? The Carter Four. That's Four. the last. I'm saying, when last time Wayne rapped good? So I think the last song that I actually like he was featured on was the Big Sean record. What's that? It's like a goofy record, but Wayne kind of spazzed a little bit. Um, he was featured on Big Sean record. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, uh, talking on that album that nobody like the second album, Big Sean's second album. Mm. I mean, I mean, maybe that was okay. All right, so the last that record was that thirteen, I just like. <sighs> I ain't really like Wayne, bro, since, like, honestly, since Kanye album. Um... Damn, bro, you finna say some crazy shit. The Kanye album, the album is classic. The, um, you talking about the 808? and Heartbreaks, that's the last time. You ain't like Wayne since... You ain't I'm saying, like, like t- that's the last time I was like, man, this nigga Wayne. You ain't just like uh, Carter 3? That was after I mean, that? Carter 4, I meant. Yes. Carter 4, that was with the... Uh, I ain't listen had to the song. a whole lot. What? Yeah. Yo, now you might be missing something on that. You ain't the one he had the song he getting that uh Jay had Ford. Drake on the song. I haven't listened to Carter for. When you talking about baby money, I got your baby money. Kidnap your, get your how much you love your lady money. I do remember that record though. Had the uh six foot sevens on there. Six foot seven. She will foot. how to hate. She will how to John, hate. Mm. Abortion so special. How to love President Carter. It's good with Drake and Jody Kiss. You got a record with Nas, outro. Well, well he ain't on, he ain't rapping just nah. It's he all his his interlude. He had like three or four three interludes with like like Andre rapping, Tech Nine, Nas, so Buster. Are we all over the place, Bun right? B. So how many classics do Wayne actually have though? Classic album? Yeah. We, I, all his material, just everything mm-hmm. he did, classic. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm kind of mixtape, so I'm say that that hot boys, the gorilla war. Oh my god, that's a classic. It's been 20 years since it came out too. <laughs> he got that, excited. <laughs> that album is crazy, bro. It's gonna be crazy. <laughs> oh, no, I got to play a record off that. I'll listen to that. Like, all right, go ahead though. That niggas Carter two. Who know what I'm talking about? Know this right here. Uh, what's the album? And I guess like like the what's the album? What's the mixtape? The double disc. The Drought 3, that's the one, like, where people start acting like they just not realize he can rap. Neighborhood check, check. Superstar. Cowboy hey, Soldier. This Wayne, early Wayne. Mo Lud is early Wayne. Pause. Oh, yeah. That was, like, young. So I ride at night. I break your neck, nigga. Okay, okay, man. Okay, man. Okay. Sheesh. Look, look, look. All right, so, all right. That's classic. That, in the first, I say the first two dedications. The drought three, the first two dedications. Them classic. Okay. Carter three, Carter it was so big. Classic. I said Carter two. Okay, okay. Hot Boys, okay. Real World for Carter two, the drought three, first two dedications. That's okay. five. People argue about that Carter one, too. Nah, that ain't no classic, man. Yeah. <clears throat> like, Wayne, I mean, he ain't did nothing in a long time, bro, that so I we, like. All right, so are we saying Wayne Prime, like, his best work was Carter 2? 
Yeah, that's shit better. Yeah, that's best album. But you said you like that Birdman and Wayne shit. That's something. That was a type. You said that was classic. At the time, I didn't. At the time, I don't remember skipping a song on there. Yeah, I mean, that's a good album. That's a good album. Like I said, now I'm. You know, times can change. I mean, you know, if it's timeless, it should still sound good though. You know yeah. what I'm saying? But you know, uh, Wayne. I don't mean father like son. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wayne ain't, I mean, because he ain't rap good in a long time to me, man. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? So, like, Wayne, he did a lot of work, but, like, because you got to, bro, this 2019, man, he ain't mm. rap good since 2011. Mm. You know what I'm saying? It's eight years, bro, and he still been rapping. He got a lot of shit to put out. Ain't none of that been good. Mm-hmm. But I ain't, let me, let me okay. you know, the nigga gonna talk. Because we love Wayne, pause. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, yeah, cause, like I'm crazy. Because Wayne been around for a long time. But, we 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 started on Ross, okay. but Ross catalog is tough to argue. Yes, with his catalog. How you feel about the new album? I listened to it twice. Um, the first listen, you know, you just go through it, trying to catch catch a vibe. I guess <laughs> <laughs> I'm so old using young nigga words, but um, what's young nigga? What's young nigga word? You know, you just certain phrases they be saying now, like trying to catch the vibe. You know, oh, that what they be saying? They be saying, they be saying that. Oh shit! For in I'm not old. I'm just talking shit. But um, it's okay. It's it's okay. I yeah. think on there it's like three records that I really like. I really like. You know what I'm saying? But I ain't just. I think the act of fool. I ain't really like oh, that nah, shit. That's, that's that's trash to me. That good that good song with gunplay, nigga. I love that little shit. A turnpike Ike. Uh, for nobody's favorite with, with gunplay, that that's hard. A summer rain. With the I mean, Walker, it's all right. Now, Ross, let me say this. He he got, if he took the Act of Fool off, it would be a whole be- different mm. album. Then started off with Act of Fool. It's like, that's wrong. I, I think he's just yeah. trying to get it out the way. Yeah. That's what I think, because he probably like, damn, man, I got to go and put this shit out and spend money on it. Yeah. But I ain't really like that song. But he he still got a good ear for music. hmm But he ain't rapping like he was. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I think that's why the album took so long to come out, because... He ain't rapping that good. I mean, not as good as he used like he usually do. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? He ain't rapping as good as he did on the last couple of albums. So that's why I was like, like I could see why now. You know what I'm saying? Because he put a few songs out. Yeah. If you look on iTunes or whatever the case, he had a few songs <laughs> that came out. It's crazy because I don't know, man, but to me, the best record on the album is still going to be Gold Roses. Yeah, that's the, the yeah, that's the <laughs> yeah, that's the best rap, that's the best song on there. And uh, I, uh, yeah, that's definitely the best album. That's the best song on that album. Me best song on that album for sure. But uh, that re- and, and Ross spaz on that record though. Mm. He three verses right on, on that one, right? Or is it two? I think he had like two. That's crew. You know what I'm saying? He showed his ass on. He that showed record. his ass on that one. But uh, that's uh. Let's let's switch topic real quick, real man. Real quick. Let me ask you uh-huh. about uh, Glasses Malone. Did you see that he put the video out and the song called Two Pop Must Die from the perspective of Orlando Baby Lane Anderson, the Crips, the alleged killer of Tupac. Yeah. Did you see that? I haven't seen the video, but I, I but heard the topic though. Yeah, it's like reenacting, yeah. like what happened, and he's rapping from that perspective of. A crip that got mm. jumped by some bloods, bloods or whatever the case. So you had to go, right? Street code, <clears throat> right? How you? How do you feel about that? I think in my era, man, you know, just just the fact that somebody can say that is like blasphemy. It's like you said, Tupac. You know what I mean? Like that's that's something that you don't hear. You know what I mean? But being from a different set, different lifestyle, people look at Pac different. Like, <laughs> like I grew up thinking everybody loved Pac. Like, yeah, Cali- <laughs> like he was running with. You listen to California man, Love, man. man. Back even back then, I didn't know the niggas' name he was calling out was like Ma Pyro. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah, they were like Ma Pyro niggas. Like every nigga name he was calling. So Pac was really banging on the track. He, he like M O B. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, he said M O B. He got M O B tatted on him. Yeah, but he said it was money over bitches. Yeah, and um. Uh, but you know they say member of blood. I mean yeah, that was the yeah, Ma Paru, exactly. Company Ma Paru. So 
that was death row, you know what I mean, blood set was. So, I mean, I get the perspective of, what of saying. fucking with some gang shit. Yeah. And they had some gang shit going on. Pop was doing some shit. He ain't had no business. But to say that about for Pop, this, though. To make a song, you trying to get, like, attention. 20-something years later. Yeah, like, like people say some stuff about Pop, bro, that when I was younger, Nigga you wouldn't come you. out your mouth. Yeah. Niggas might fight you. On spot, like somebody, somebody fire you up. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Know what I'm saying? Somebody like, gonna slap you for sure. Slap your head, like pow. <laughs> it's like, gonna hurt. He said, "Pop, what?" Yeah. They yeah. say, "Like nigga, ain't nobody, ain't nobody co sign that shit." Nah, now, nah, nah. like we in the goddamn age, like Every, people feel comfortable saying shit about pop. That's crazy. People can say anything these days. And then, uh, glasses Malone said, uh, "And what I'm gonna do?" I'm gonna play devil's. Well, nah, I ain't. I won't. I want to say I want to play devil's advocate. We ain't gonna do that though. But it's gonna be. I I'm gonna play devil's advocate. <laughs> he said two. He said Tupac was big, but he got even. He got bigger because he was with standing next to Snoop. Okay. So you argue why Tupac was bigger? Because he said you know Snoop was the biggest rapper in the world. Now. <clears throat> Now give me, give me, let me, let me, now, get, let me see. I think he also speaking from a set perspective because Snoop is a crip too. You know what I'm saying? He's still rolling with the set, different set of crips, but they still crip. Now, conversation. Now, I've always believed, right? It's a conversation we had a long time ago. I think Snoop Dogg is the biggest name in hip hop ever, though. Yeah, two, yeah, Snoop. Snoop is the biggest Snoop, name. Like Snoop, everybody knows Snoop. You could argue Snoop is like, in terms of like. Stature, yes, the greatest rapper, yes, ever. Like stature and His longevity, name, and just yes. how big he is. Pause, yeah. like how and how, he like, just... yeah, he relevant. And how culturally accepted he is, man, it's crazy. He like the greatest, greatest, ra- like arguably, like yeah. You know what I'm saying? You can argue that. You can argue that. But at that time, I, at that time, I can't say that Snoop is bigger than Pac because, like we said earlier, Pac has so much going on. The movies, but, Snoop, but look at the album Snoop put out. Though, eight hundred thousand copies and for one, a week. One week. That was my album. And then eight hundred thousand the second, second week. week. Yeah, he didn't drop off. And and that sound was different too, though. That like that's like, what album better than that album? What what album? Mm. What hip hop? That one of the best albums ever. I'm it being is. the devil's advocate. I'm arguing yeah. on Snoop behalf. Yeah. What album is better than Doggy Style? Like album ever? Like what you, you got to say with Thriller? I'm, I'm just in general Purple just rain. overall okay. you gotta go with okay. shit like that like we can just talk just hip hop just and, album so put songs that. in the key of life yeah so just by Stevie albums. Wonder like what can you say better than Snoop first album that album is hard you see what I'm saying as far as hip hop album it's easily top five hip hop album you know what I'm saying yeah it's it's, cl- it's definitely a top five yeah is the chronic better than that hell nah the chronic not better than doggy style man come on B <laughs> the Chronic ain't better than Doggy Style. No. Okay. But, but let me say this though, man. Let me. Pac. The thing about Pac, Pac, Pac made Brenda's got a baby. Uh-huh. That was all over the news. As, as a child, I'm like seeing Young that, boy. and they talking about they doing a whole story about this song about teen pregnancy, mm-hmm. and they interviewing them. Uh, what's the song? Dear Mama. No, no, no. Before oh, that, yeah, okay. keep your head up. Keep your head up. Yeah, keep Tupac your head made up. songs that your mama and them had to fuck with. Yeah. Like, they ain't they like, to. like, they ain't like the your nigga. older people in your family, they ain't like their rap shit. But they you had that. to fuck, like, and Snoop, too. You yeah, had to fuck with that Snoop. Yeah, like, they be like, yeah. that shit got down. One, that two, Snoop, dog, three, to the four. Yeah. <laughs> they got down. It was so simple. Like, damn. Yeah. Ain't nothing but a G thing, baby. Like, they kind of had to fuck with. She's going crazy. Yeah, they let me ride. Yeah, oh, my. me ride. Like niggas had to fuck with, like even, had a lot, man. That sound. But, though, but yeah. now, now I would say, just me being like a hip hop historian, mm-hmm. and remember when Pac got with Death Row and the the interviews he was doing, people saying, "Yo, man, we can't hear it. Wait to hear you on some Drake beats." Mm. They weren't saying, "I want to hear you with Snoop." Of course, they asked, but yeah. it's like, "Yo, you gonna so Dre gonna do the album?" That's what everybody would wonder because Dre. Dre had the track record. Pop, you gotta look at it. Snoop came in with Dre, who had them put together like nothing but classic. He did the DOC album. 
Easy album. He did two NWA albums. That's four classics. Then he put together his album. That's five classics. Ooh. Talking like, about Dr. Dre. And then he JJ Fad. He had JJ Fad. Um DOC. I said DOC. Okay, um. He did D look, he did Dog Easy Pound. first, then NWA, DOC, another NWA album, JJ Fad came with his album. Mm-hmm. Snoop coming after with somebody who he Dre the most potent hip hop uh artist of all time. Like oh, for sure. He like the greatest oh, art, sure. like artist wise. For sure. Like he do he Think did he did he everything. Every coach he done touched. Like he the greatest. Every like, time, every time. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, like all the people he took, like M, all the branches off his tree. You know what I'm M, saying? Game, so he came Kendrick, in. Kendrick. Like just 50. You forgetting 50. 50. 50. I'm sorry, 50. Kendrick now. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like the nigga, the nigga don't lose, man. You know what I'm saying? He, Snoop. Snoop. You know what I'm saying? Like dog, nah, the whole death just death firm, man. That was a <laughs> firm. Yeah. You see what yeah, I'm saying? Like yeah. the nigga arms long, man. Reach long. So look, so you looking at him coming in with Dre. Pac came in by itself, for mm-hmm. real. He came in under Digital Underground and mm-hmm. branched out by itself, became a star. Came, Brenda's got a baby trap. Uh, uh, Soldier Story. Mm-hmm. Second album, Holla If You Hear Me. Mm-hmm. Like a whole political conscious album, Holla If You Hear Me. I get around, yeah. keep your head up. And then we got to talk about that soundtrack <laughs> from Above the Rim. Above the Rim. The mo- he was in the movie yeah. Above the Rim. Exactly. He was in Juice, Poetic yeah, Justice. Exactly. Call then they, the song Pain off of oh, the soundtrack. Oh, it wasn't even on the soundtrack. They ain't yeah, even put it on the on the tape. It's on CD. Pain put it on the tape. Yeah. The nigga. Yeah. Come on, man. Yeah. Like the dude glasses. He repping his set. He though. sound like a from the perspective of a crip. of a crip from California. Yeah. Who grew up idolizing Snoop. Exactly. But you down south, bro. Niggas wasn't listening to nothing but pop. Niggas. Like since. Niggas thug love life. Pac, yeah. Oh, Doug, like, forget about it. Like, thug Pac, life. UGK, A, Pac, really Pac, A-Ball, MG, J, A-Ball, MJG, then UGK. Mm-hmm. That was the order that niggas was fucking with people. You know South, what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, come on, B. Swap house. Like, 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 come on, man, down here. Like, and then, the, and then in the South, it's bigger than, and then Scarface. You know what yeah, I'm saying? That was, that was the people that, but Pac was ahead of them. Mm-hmm. And that's from Texas all the way over mm-hmm. to... Because Pac's sound of his voice, man, like, it was just different. You know what I'm saying? Like, his voice Everything was, I could feel, like, you, you feel know, he meant voice. whatever he was talking yeah. about. You know what I'm saying? So, like, for for people to say that, like, but let me ask you this. Okay. So, are we saying, though, that Doggy Style is the greatest hip-hop album? It's, it's one of them. It's okay, argue. Okay, you can okay. argue. You can that, argue. Okay. You can argue that it's the greatest hip-hop album. There's 19 album. tracks in that joint. I'm looking at 19 like, tracks on what? Doggy style. No, it, it ain't. No, 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 no. You looking at it? With, um, they probably got the a couple of the skits broke okay. down. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. thirteen tracks, okay. and they had fourteen, but they took one of them off because they ain't doggy cl- dog. Uh, no, no, no. They ain't clear the sample. It was uh, this is for the G's and this, this is for the. No, 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 no. It was like, hold on, was it? No, 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 no. What's that song? Man, I forgot. Man, I can't. The think. track list we got a uh, number one bathtub. G That's Funk, a skit. Yeah. Gin and Juice with the ball. <laughs> that nigga, yo, he had some skits, though. That nigga's skits was crazy. At who? Uh, the skits, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, w Balls. W Balls. The radio. <laughs> the shit's nit. Uh, Chill. The, yeah. The intro, Domino. Lottie Dottie. Murder, what's the case? Serial killer. Who am I? What's my name? For all my niggas and bitches, <laughs> ain't no fun. Another intro, Chronic Relief, Doggy Dog World was crazy. Classroom intro, G's and Hustlers. Look, man. Check in, G's up, hoes down, Come pump, on, pump. Man. Yeah, yeah. Come on, B. Did you say ain't no fun the homies can't have none? You said that? Yeah. Now, let me yeah. say this real quick. <laughs> Snoop, yeah. I got to yeah, yeah, go ahead, though, but. He, um, let me, let me ask you this. You know, and this is off the topic a little bit because you, we we talking about some old shit. Mm-hmm. I had somebody ask me, "Where was Belly after the last show? Where is Belly?" That's sad though. And I told him, I said, "That's sad." I described his head, Nas, DMX, in oh, man. Make the it, young man. the young lady said, "Who is DMX?" 
How old is young lady is, man? Twenty something. So right <laughs> look, D- that look, that damn it broke my heart. <laughs> yeah, DMX was the biggest rapper in the world for three years. But if if she was born in '96, Cause listen, she don't know. Cause listen, bro. DMX was the biggest rapper in the world. That, now that hurt my feelings because, like, damn, you got niggas who legit the biggest people wait, wait, wait. in the game so, for a certain amount of time. And actual that, words was who is DMX? Yeah, who is that? Damn. Where's she from? Come on, man. Okay. 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 But <laughs> from, <laughs> around the way. Around the way. So, uh, so, yeah. But who is DMX? It's blasphemy. The biggest know, rapper yeah. in the world for three years. Yeah. And then I, and then I'm talking, you know, I was talking to a young lady and uh, we was talking about, um, <laughs> we was talking about uh, I'm just talking about You know like Certain ways Certain things That women didn't used to do mm-hmm. Or Certain things that Like they They wouldn't say they did mm-hmm. They used to do it But they wouldn't say it mm-hmm. And then I'm I'm like And I had asked I said you uh This is a young girl I said you ever heard uh, Tupac Wonder why they call you bitch mm-hmm. She's like no You never heard that Like that's what the problem is Bruh they don't have a wonder why you call. They don't have a wonder why they call you bitch song out. The record. Yeah. They don't have that. They because Pop was literally telling you, you, you a money hungry hoochie and you need to you. quit. Some some some. I bet you. Uh, uh, I said, and then I got the thing. I said, <laughs> I said, yo, you weren't even when Brenda got a baby came out. You weren't even born. They probably never heard that record. I like, yo, you was the baby. You was the baby. You was the baby. Your Brenda was your mama. Brenda was your the, mother. Yo. This like yo, I'm like yo, this shit crazy, bro. Yo, <laughs> yo, this That's shit crazy. crazy. That shit crazy, man. But uh, let me switch up real quick, man. Uh, can I play the Glass Malone bugging? Okay. What? Brenda got a baby. Wonder why they call you. Oh, wonder why you. Nah, man, I don't want to okay. disrespect the queens. Okay. Yeah, yeah, cause somebody did say that you be yeah. <laughs> yo, this nigga crazy. <laughs> somebody said that. Cause, cause uh, Mo be talking like that black sick, power, you know what I'm saying? Man. My queen, then he called him a thousand bitches, though. I ain't so. called nobody, no, I ain't called nobody <laughs> in particular a bitch. We just talking, man. I look, look, I hate Tell calling him. the Break women bitches, but yeah. the bitches love it. Mm. You know what I'm saying? They do like it sometimes. They do like it sometimes. You know, but I ain't, but I ain't calling nobody no bitch now. Nah. Mm. Nah. Yeah, nah. count that. Nah. <laughs> Now let me ask you this, man. Right. This Rich Paul mm-hmm. rule. Love do you it. know the um did you, what did you say? Did you say you love it? I just like it's a conversation now. The Rich Paul rule is a Wait, wait, wait. Now, do you know the do you know the details of the rule? Well, I don't know what I'm saying like I like how he changing the culture of everything, but like yeah. the rule but do that, you know the details? Yeah, they trying to put like a like a certain requirements on being an agent, you know what I'm saying, for for college kids, right? You're trying I, to put like a, you gotta have like a saw, bachelor's degree, you got to have so many years, you got to pass a certain exam to yeah. represent college kids in, in a draft. I thought it was kids that weren't declaring, they just testing the waters. Now, correct me, I'm not. Okay, because the draft ain't in change, because now you can go in the draft and, and come back out now. Yeah, so I thought they were saying that person has to have, that person has to have a, a bachelor's degree and pass all these Hold on, let me see. Yeah, that's what it is. Now, nah, cause that that, cause that seems like that should be against the like. Oh yeah, it should the law, man. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> if you telling me trying I can't to blackball somebody, cause he he killing the game right now. Yeah, because he had the young boy take an internship at New Balance, got paid the mill up front. That's smart though, man, because. That's yeah. Got a meal, and then he learning business, learning business, internship, and you know Puma out here getting money. So, yeah. how many of the young boys say, "Man, I go to Puma for a year, cold, learn. I can train, give me some I'm good training, runs in. I'm learning. How much money? I'm learning the business. And Puma could say, I mean, then they could go play for somebody and Puma sponsor. Them. Yeah. And how much? You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. that's a good investment. And Puma have them on the hook for a few years. Just K to go to the league and turn into something. You know what I'm yeah. saying? And then, you know what I'm saying? So, I mean, I think it's a, uh, it's a, uh, just, I think it's just basically, 
you know, you got to... Let me ask you, are you familiar with Al Heyman? Al Heyman is a boxing promoter. He created the PBC Boxing. Okay. They, uh, he was a... He always called himself an advisor. He uh, advised Floyd Mayweather. If you ever watch any of the fights, most of the guys, the first person they think is Al Heyman. Okay. Leonard Ella B and you know what I'm saying, so on and so forth. Okay. But Al Heyman is the person that helped Floyd get himself to that point. Al Heyman used to be a uh a concert promoter. Mm-hmm. He was real big in like the eighties and nineties. Mm-hmm. But Al Heyman has become the biggest boxing promoter or sports tycoon period mm-hmm. in the world. And Al Heyman got about three pictures of him. On the internet that you can find. Mm-hmm. I see it right here. Big nigga. He a big nigga, man. Pause. But this is where Rich Paul seemed to be, like, moving toward that. And Al Hammond, they hate him. Mm-hmm. They talk about him. Uh, some of his counterparts that happen to be white talk about him or happen to not be black. All of them hate him. Oscar De La Hoya wanted to sue him. Um, Bob Arum, they sued. They actually sued him. Mm-hmm. Tried to say he was booking all the venues. They couldn't get no venues because he was booking them. So my point with that is when they see a young black man or a black man in general just making these moves, these power moves. Outside the box. Power moves. Just he get signed to everybody. He signed to everybody. Signed to everybody. What's the dude name that Jay-Z called out uh, on the album back in 2013? He called him out about the sports age and shit. Uh, uh, Westwood? Uh, no, 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 no. Okay. He called him out saying, like, you know what I'm saying? I forgot what that nigga said. But them type of people don't want to see a rich Paul out here. So saying you got to have a, a bachelor's degree, that's that's some, some bullshit because he's showing you, nah, you can go learn on the job. Exactly. And then become, become the biggest, very successful. The best successful. Agent, yeah. Yeah, yeah, because the job just teach you, college just teach you how to be a good worker. Right. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Like, it just proved that you, like, really could be a good, like, you know how to follow rules. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? You know how to be on time for some, and you, like, you know consequences to whatever. You know what I mean? I so, think the whole rule, man, is just let you know, bro, like, college is all part of, like, it's America's plan. You know what I'm saying? Like, to get niggas in debt, like, all that. Yeah, I mean... There's only certain jobs actually needed. And then, like, it's still on-job training that you're just going to get anyway, so... Right, right. I but, never understood that. Right, right, right. But but with that, like, that, we're going to... We're going to... that We have to get into that one. That'd be, like, a deeper okay. conversation about college. Okay. That we might have to dedicate a little bit more time, time to. Cool. Research I don't want to go off into it too much. All right, so the rich part of it, right? I just think... It's all, <laughs> I just think, bro, that... These black athletes, bro, should be going to black colleges, bro. I've been saying that for so, a long time. Yeah. They should just, yeah. They should go there, bro, because, like, you're going to these institutions, man. Bro, they don't care about you. You go for one year, and you out of there. Like, go to black college and generate them, that money to the black colleges, man. They the ones in our uh, in our community helping us out at our high schools. <laughs> these white colleges ain't in the hood, like, at our school telling us come to school. Only if you're an athlete, that's it. Yeah, like they ain't coming and checking for homeboy from Woodline. Like, oh, he can run, he can jump. Oh yeah, we want him. But they ain't just coming just to get him. Nah, cause I mean, like, think about the way, think about the dynamics of the top prospect going to Man. top football prospect in the country going to uh, Alabama State. Man, going to Miles and um. You know Howard, I mean? you know what I'm saying? Like Howard. But if, me and me and uh Sam, shout out my nigga Sam. We were talking about this yesterday. What if What if um, Zion? Yeah, when went to North to Carolina A and T. Bruh. I told That much money he would have banked for that school? Look, I told I said, what if Kevin Durant had went to Howard? Mm. These You know what I'm saying? What if He's still going to the league. He he named somebody from here. What if they uh somebody one of the top guys from Right now, whether they go to Miles or whether they go to State and them, you know what I'm saying? What what if they did that? What if all the top guys just said, We not going, we're gonna go here? And the the coaches that are there, now they look like the geniuses because they got the best players. 
the best players. You know what I'm saying? They like, oh, this guy can really coach. And the TV contract's coming. Right. Think about the money. We'll go to those games. Oh, yeah, for sure. People still go to the big games, and the talent not even on that, that caliber. The band fight, though. <laughs> but honestly. <laughs> so, but this, yeah, see? Yeah, yeah. But just think about it. See, I, yeah. I knew, I think I told, I might have been talking to you or Sam, and I and I was saying, it's, it's going to be one of these, it's going to happen yeah. where a top athlete Gonna say, man, you know, I'm going to HBCU, and, and it's gonna change a lot, of, and it's gonna be a cut, it's gonna be a, a domino shit. effect. Yeah, yeah. Uh, hey, then, I'm telling my son, I said, bro, I want to go to a black college. Like, if you're the top dude, I want you to go to a black college and just change. Don't follow. I know you're a big fan of this school. Yeah, I mean, yeah, but you gotta I want to talk to you. You gotta be inst- You know what I mean? Yeah, man. But the thing about Alabama coming with that million dollar check, yeah, allegedly they might come with some kind of money. <laughs> oh, you getting paid some? Bread. And then say, "Hey, man, I'm finna go to, I'm gonna go to Bama, man. Mm-hmm. Shit, man. State ain't talking about nothing, man. They might be trying to give me a little twenty five hundred dollar check. Yeah, man, I'm finna go to goddamn Bama. They goddamn gonna give me a million dollars. Got my mama, yeah. Yeah. got my mama a new job. My dad a a, a tractor. They done had a little young niggas be. Tractor, yeah. Got my new tractor. We so, gotta change that, though. We, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the that's they. Cause, but like I always say, they gonna push us to have to. The way white supremacy work, it put it's gonna push you to have to take it yourself and say, man, you know what? I'm finna do this shit myself. We're gonna, you know what I mean? Cause we they ain't gonna, you know, we gotta, we're gonna have to hurt some. Just think about it though, right? These big programs, PWI programs, what if all the black athletes didn't play? Bro, you're not watching them games. No. At, I'm talking about you, you ain't watching them games at all. You ain't going to them. You ain't you going no, to them. You ain't buying no jerseys. jerseys. Yeah. Exactly. So, you know, that's something we might need to start. We need to promote. We need yeah. to start promoting. You know what I'm saying? Like, like it needs to be promoted. Um, some of the like the ditties, the people that went to yeah. them houses and stuff, they need to start going to them kids and recruiting. Like, look, recruiting. Like, hey man. Hey man. Come here. Come. To, you know what I'm yeah. saying? You gonna change? Like, we need you to come in and make everybody else. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Come on, like boy. you're not affiliated with the school. You can give them what you want to. Exactly. Really? Because you're not affiliated, affiliated. with school. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You can go say, man, look, I take care of you. Yeah. Whatever. Just to change the shit. You can change in one year. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, man. Because they want to put these rules and cause shit. Because those black colleges do a lot for public schools. You know what I'm talking about? Like, they in the schools, like, hands-on, trying to yeah. help out the kids. Like, that's the main thing is education. Like, they're trying to help out the kids. Right. Like, I don't see Bama, like, hey, <laughs> Woodline doing nothing for real. Let's a nigga playing football. Right. They ain't at the school trying to get nobody no no scholarship like that for real. Nah, nah. So yeah, that's 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 got to be the next move, man. So, but um, let me uh, let me ask you about. Did you hear about the Jeffrey Epstein? Yeah, that's we crazy. talked about him with with that last show. We talked about him. I think so. He was just hoping justice was served. Yeah. Now I'm a, I got a curve pause. <laughs> Tell me what. I mean, he committed suicide. Allegedly committed suicide. They found him. In his, in his cell, dead. Allegedly, yeah. Now tell me what you think about that. I think, bro, he's so tied in to a different part of the, you know what I'm saying, like different boys club where he they know he know a lot. You know what I mean? So I, I think they say suicide. I, I think, bro, got murked out, though. Okay, we're on the same page. Cause yeah. That's the way I'm looking at it. Like, if he had... He know too much. They say he know he too much. You know what I'm saying? He had named so, like a senator and the Clintons. somebody. He named somebody in the royal family. Exactly. So, so people understand, man. Like, Look, this pedophile thing is a worldwide thing. Like, rich yeah. people been doing it forever. White supremacists. Yeah. That that's like a thing for like, if you ever read, you probably haven't read and read, but read none of <laughs> they book not not read, but yeah. I mean read any of the the literature written by like known white supremacists. Mm-hmm. They talk about pedophilia like it's like some kind of energy that they gain from it. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? It's it's like a status thing, I guess, you're saying, like, or... I mean, I don't know if it's... I think it's like... Some, it's just some sick shit, man. Like, it's sick, man. Like they into, yeah. And it's... I don't know, bro. I don't know. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They've been raping people for, like, centuries, Forever. man. Like, that's their thing. That's their like, thing. So, I don't know, cuz. Like, some sick shit, like... 
I don't know if it's the power, but it's some kind of psychological uh, issue that they dealing with with that situ with that type of shit. But he talking about he finna name names. He was on suicide watch two weeks ago. Exactly. You don't take him off so you don't take a person off suicide watch. Was in general pop or what? Come on, man. Nah, man, he'll okay. be now. Yeah. He probably like secluded like a That's what I'm saying. Like probably in a padded room. Like how you do that? He wasn't in a padded room okay, though. He okay. just in a cell. Okay. But if you were if you were you not you don't be suicidal two weeks ago and then you not suicidal yeah. now. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Two Making weeks no later. Sense. Like, that don't even make sense. How did they say he killed himself? Was it, was it? I don't even know, bro. Exactly. They said they found him, like, in a fetal position yeah. with some shit tied around his neck. Or maybe I'm, maybe I'm, mis, maybe I'm misremembering. It was some tied around his neck. They did say suicide, though. Yeah. What they saying, yeah. But I don't so, believe that. Come on, man. Yeah. So, um, he uh, he was going to get to talking, man. You know what I'm oh, saying? Yeah. He and probably already was talking. Somebody probably said, man, look. Get Working that, around, get man. That motherfucker out yeah, of here. out of here. And bro, it, it happened quick. Yeah, man. It got really cool. Quick. So when he said somebody, yeah. Royal Family, oh, oh no, Lord Jesus. Don't do that. <laughs> the world love the royal family. <laughs> they love that. Go to my father wrong. Yeah, but you know, that's a different conversation too, though. Man. That's a different conversation. Let me ask you about um we had like three mass shootings, like back to back to back. Oh, man. Um what was the one in California at a garlic festival? At the fest, yeah. Then El Paso. And you went to Walmart. Then uh, Dayton, Ohio. Was it Dayton, Ohio? At the club. At the club. And he killed his own sister. Own sister. I think she, they said, and her boyfriend. I think he, she had a black boyfriend. Oh, that's what happened then, yeah. Now. He took both of them out. All three of these people, manifestos, and if they, you know, after they studied their backgrounds and all that. And I know, I, you know, people probably like, man, you would have turned out, but they all were studying the, they all studied these white supremacist handbooks. All, you know what I mean? And people are wondering, like, why would he go kill all these white people if he a white supremacist? But all them books talk about killing the weak. You know what I'm saying? Talk about attacking the weak. And then uh, I think the one in El Paso, like, they say there's like a 90% uh, people that's uh, of Mexican descent in that town. Yeah, yeah. So, so the it's chance like, of hitting something other than a Mexican. And then that store they said, well, like I said, that town, that certain area was people kind of yeah. like going back and forth between the border. So. Yeah, that's a, on the, yeah, El Paso right on the border. Mm -hmm. And people come back and forth to trade and do whatever. So he go down there and do that. You know what I mean? So, I mean, they they uh, they uh waging war. You know what I'm saying? They they they're waging war. He went to the look the little mixed club. I think six of the nine PP kills like black mm -hmm. or whatever. So that seemed to be a target. He, first person he killed his sister, but she date she was dating a black guy. So you get that, you know what I mean? The other two people might have been an accident. Yeah, you know what I mean. So they talking about this, you know, uh, the gun control, this and that. They want to. Well, get rid of automatic weapons and it's people, man. How you how how could you how could you get rid of? Okay, you get you tell me I can't have my automatic weapon now, and the people the bad people still gonna be able to get them. Oh, for sure, man. You, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, they yeah. they make them. Probably some go up a little high, but you still be able to get them. Bro, they make them. Yeah, they make them here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I know a couple, here. I know a couple of cats. No, I mean here, like here where we at now. Yeah, yeah. I know a couple of cats. Brad, yeah. Call the dude that made the guns. <laughs> I know a couple. <laughs> you of know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. They make. I'm talking about make putting together yeah. assault rifles. Yeah, 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 yeah. I work with guys who talk and say they always make their own AR-15 from scratch. Yeah. The parts and they make. Yeah. So, how you gonna you gonna stop them from being able to make them? You know what I mean? So then, I you take my weapons. And then I ain't got, I don't have, I don't have. I can't uh, protect myself. Yeah, I can't protect myself to, against these, these people that they that been stocking up for years. Yeah, you know what I mean. So, those um, people got guns, what, man. It's like, why you got so many guns? They got so many guns. I'm talking about. They ready for it? Like, yeah, yeah, they ready for whatever. Yeah, yeah. Like, they think <laughs> like, it's like gonna be a legit. They spent like, oh man, this one guy, man, he got so many guns, but like, y'all like a. A room full of just guns. Yeah. Like a vault full of guns. Like to my yeah. real like army guns. Like Yeah. Crazy. Yeah. Hand grenades. That's how they 
And that's how they do it. You know what I mean? But, you know what I mean? We, uh, you know, I guess send my prayers out to, oh, for the, sure, to, man. to the, families the families of the of victims. Lost, and, you know, we just got to be safe out here, man. Same we got to be in, man. Yeah, we just got to be safe out here. And, uh, and you got to be cautious where you're going, man. Yeah, for real. Because, yeah. like, I'm always looking. You right. know what I mean? Because, well, that's. That's how we grew up, though. You know what I'm saying? We always looking. You know what I'm saying? Like, bad people just been through so much trauma already. Like, like all right. So they showed a video of a guy in Walmart while they were shooting. He like, man, niggas over there shooting. You know what I'm saying? But, like, he come because he used to it. Like, bro, on live, like, man, like, man, that's an AR-15. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, he know the gun. Like, man, somebody shooting in Walmart. He walking out the store, though, like, out the back door. It's the, the, the El Paso shit? Yeah. Crazy. Oh, for real? Crazy. Oh, damn. But, like, think about us, though, bro. <laughs> we outside, so much like, niggas shooting every day. Yeah. Yeah, but I hear, like, I'm... Yeah. I'm sk- Get low, like... I'm skating. It's like, prime example, like, if we're in the hood chilling, somebody start running, we ask no questions. Nah. We gone. No. Oh, nice. I mean, one time, hey, I finna lead around, young son. I had to grab him. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, nigga just started running. I'm like, oh, I, oh man, I love my son. Cause. Had to go back and get him. Yo. Yo, that's crazy. I remember the day, like, <laughs> nigga, like, running, nigga, my hat came yeah. out one time. Nigga. I had to grab, <laughs> grab that bit. Nigga, low his, out, low his head, grab that bit. I remember that. At some yeah. house party, like, yeah, yeah. I ain't got no other bullet. I just pop up. It's like you expected to go off. You know what I'm saying? Like, like, man, shit, we've been man. in some moments where niggas just shooting, just yeah, shooting, like <laughs> niggas just shooting, shoot, just dive in the car, yeah. everything just piled up, piled up, like nigga hear the bullets. Yo, <laughs> that's crazy. Shit. That's crazy, boy. Yo, that's crazy. Yeah, just like, thinking about that, like that's you know what I mean. Nigga behind Taco Bell on First Avenue, nigga, nigga be shooting, shooting. Be yeah. like 15, 16. Ain't no Taco Bell no more, though. Nah, nah, it's uh, I think Little Caesars now. Yeah, yeah. Our first on the corner right there. Car just Street was, was churches. Now it's sharks. Nigga just busting. Nigga just shoot for no reason. Yeah. Like, so, yeah, man, you got to be careful out here, man, with these. Uh... Got to be as well your surroundings, man. Like, if you're from a certain area, like, I can tell on how you just looking around. You know what I'm saying? You, you trying to see what's going on, who here. Yeah. Because you know, like, like where we from, like, you already know who the shooters, <laughs> who the robbers, like, who finna slap somebody. Like, you just know. What's finna happen? You know what I mean? Slap somebody. Who finna, like, that was a big thing. Like, yo, he might slap somebody. Let me be on my P's and Q's because I ain't trying to get slapped. <laughs> <laughs> he be a little nigga, too. Like, he like 5'2". A nigga hands got damn seven foot, though. That nigga slapped yeah, the head you off decide, you, man. How you decide who you want to slap? Yeah. Because nigga is five. Wow. Slap five, five from him. Yeah, so you got to be wow. careful. So we always on like a head on a swivel. Always. Wow. Yo, that's funny as hell. You right. <laughs> Yo, that's funny as hell. Yeah. Sheesh. But, um... Epstein, yeah. I think somebody took him out, though. But, you know, we talking about the mass shooting, bro. Yeah, yeah. Oh, look at me. <laughs> he, went, he went backwards, <laughs> I mean, Yeah, yeah, yeah. But let, let, let me ask you this, man. Let's get into, um... A quick little topic. A little, uh... Let me. I was having a conversation early in the week mm. with somebody, and we were talking about men cheating. Mm. Why do men cheat? Black men don't cheat, though. That's what I try to. That's what I was saying. Black men really don't cheat. Yeah, that's what I was trying to tell. Thinking about the culture that we come from, <laughs> we don't cheat. So we really didn't say black. That's the same shit I said. Like. Black men real? I'm like, no, we really don't, don't be cheat. cheating, though. Yeah. Like, I'm like, yeah, I remember for years, I said, that nigga Ed was the most faithful nigga we ever know. Yeah. He only had one. For a minute, he had a little one, main side, and then you had, like, you know, you had your little fun sometimes. Yeah. But, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, but at the time, but you got to see, this something I ain't even know the reason. Look, the culture that we come from naturally, mm-hmm. we had more than one woman. Mm-hmm. Like, they think I'm bullshit when I said, but we had more than one woman. I had, like, if I was, like, well, my natural habitat, I would have, like, 11 or maybe five, like, five, five six wives. Yeah. You know what I mean? And you happy. 
And you ain't cheating. Yeah, and they probably tired of niggas talking about this shit. They like, yo, these niggas here is insane. Like, <laughs> but why do men so I why do men cheat? That's this is the question. Or is this, it cheating though? Hmm. I'll be just it, going back to our roots. <laughs> yeah. Is it cheating? Cause like, if you got three, two, you know what I mean? Two or three, is is is, is that cheating or I mean, okay, let's this is a better question. Okay. Do you love all can you can a, can you love more mm. than one woman at a time? That's a better question. That's a good question, man. And um I believe you can definitely love more than one. Okay. I believe so. Okay, now well let me ask you this. Okay. Tell me your thoughts about polygamy. <clears throat> to me, in this society now, it's frowned upon. You know what I mean? They look at it like the guy just being selfish, only for sexual reasons only, but it's deeper than that, though. I think the more you have on the team and you got the same the same kind of goal in life, it, it made things a lot easier. I think people get into it where they pride in this, you know what I'm saying? It's just like... Like, and, and it's not... Like, okay... All right, polygamy is, all right, we looking at it from it, looking at it, I'm looking at it from the African perspective. We're talking about nation building. And it takes a village. Take a, it That's takes my a village. Shirt, it was at the house. Yeah. The village was at the house. The village is the house. So I'm looking at it from that perspective of we nation building and we building uh, generational wealth. Yeah. And so we we talking about nation building. Fact. We talking about building economic uh economic base. You understand? For the babies. The babies. So we got five, six people working toward the same common goal. You know what I mean? So we wanna buy the block, we can buy the block. We definitely buy the block back. Sooner than just me trying to do it. Yeah. You yeah. know what I mean? We talking about five people, more resources. so we got more time for for uh, being healthy, mm -hmm. exercise, mm -hmm. studying. We can homeschool the kids. Everybody can help out, cook, clean. You, you gotta do. have two or three jobs, like you know yeah. what I mean. You, you have a little garden, it. like you say. Oh, you gotta have a and garden. And then once we get to the point where we ain't got you ain't got to have no job, like mm -hmm. the. Fam business, is, family is business. It is business is family. You understand what yeah. I'm saying? This is from the African perspective. When when people think about the the kings or whoever had all these wives, you didn't have just have a wife just so you could take. I'm gonna take care of you. Mm -hmm. No, you look good. No, she could bring this to the table. She could teach. She's yeah. a teacher. Yeah, we need somebody. Nurturing. We got four kids yeah. per woman and like twenty people. You got to teach all of them. Oh, you busy, busy. Possibly. You busy, <laughs> busy. Why not? Yeah, why not? So, and you happy. Right. So we got, she's a chef. She's a nutritionist. Mm. She's whatever. She's a we teacher. We eat right. She's a business mm -hmm. woman. You know what I mean? She. We got all these people that got all these hats. Mm -hmm. And then even if they don't wear those particular hats, we could, we could learn how to do all that stuff. And then we just build this base for the family. You understand? It takes a village, right? So why do you think in this day's time it's frowned upon, though? I mean, it's a Western... Western thing. It's a Western or European mentality. Exactly. To have, like, a one wife. Mm -hmm. Like, the one wife system. You understand? Like, that ain't... That's not... If you go to most countries with old old civilizations, they... The people have... They believe in more than one wife. Exactly. Like, I mean... So that's just most this old time, civil. This okay. is this is fairly new. Exactly. It's like a Western mentality. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, if we even look at the Bible, the Bible doesn't even tell you to have just one wife. Mm -hmm. Like people like to point out where it say you get your own wife, you can get your own car. I got two of them. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? You can get your own house. You can have four of them. Is you all of them yours? You own own. Yeah. Means ownership. Own mm -hmm. doesn't mean that's not a number. Mm -hmm. Own just is a, is is it means ownership. 
Mm-hmm. That's what the OWN means, ownership. Mm-hmm. That doesn't mean a number. I had a conversation years ago with some older ladies. You know what I mean? And I'm like, oh, my God. I hate to school older people about the Bible because, you know, they don't know nothing about it. Well, that's going over the pastor say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They or reading or they or reading they, it, they like, like taking it like. The content. They, it ain't even that because you gotta know you gotta know what words mean. Exactly. So like that's own, thing too. Because it's like, hey, get your own and wife. See, they ain't gonna like, like put emphasis the on Hebrew words. Because like, the American language, one, is trash. You know what I'm saying? Like the language is trash. A lot of the words, you know what I mean? Like the original language, when you go back to like the Hebrew language, right? Words just mean different. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like the Bible is just like Yeah, several different words for love and man. Exactly, you know what I mean? So it's just people. It, it's different. Right. It's definitely different now. Yeah. Right. right. So, um, but people look at it from like a like a lower level self though, man. Mm-hmm. They think I just want to have like sex with all these women at the same time. Like that's some savage shit. It is. That's beneath me. Mm-hmm. Actually. It you is. know what I mean? It really is. Um, I'm trying to build like an economic base and a For system. My kids. For the family For the babies To keep going You understand what I'm saying Like Make you got Make generation better Right Just like you got Wells Fargo Bank mm-hmm. uh, Or Wachovia How they were able <laughs> to build mm-hmm. I know I'm getting back Into some <laughs> How they South were able Trust, to build Wachovia, No yeah. But Wachovia oh, yeah. in particular That particular family The slaves On slaves mm-hmm. So how they was able To build that mm-hmm. Off of the slave trade So I have to do it not saying, I mean, I, I mean, if I could find somebody who with it, you know what I'm saying? I ain't been able to find nobody who with it. It's hard. But uh, that's what it. That's what it is, though. You know what I mean? It ain't about just a nigga just want to have these women to have sex with, though. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? So you know. I think when it comes to sex, man, women think like we just savages. Like that's all we think about. And they they think about it more than we do. They do. They do. Like they really be like. But it's you know crazy I mean? how they try to put that on us though. Like we, that's all we think about. Like, nah, baby, I'm thinking about other yeah, stuff. Yeah, because you'll be talking, you'll be dealing with your little young thing, and like y'all have like a little, like a little break, a little bit. You mm-hmm. want to talk for a minute, and then you ask like, yo, you uh, you been intimate with someone else? Have you had sex with someone else? And, and she'll say, yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm like what? They don't wait like, no damn, more. It's been like a month, month and a half. They don't wait no like, more. Like damn, like how soon did you like you like damn? You know what I mean? You definitely look at them different. You know what I mean? Because yeah. you think that they this kind of way. And then you find out, like, you couldn't even wait for me. You know what I mean? Right. So. And, like, I try to like I, I try to explain, man. So what time frame we talking about? Like, what do we accept? Like, all right, if I ain't no touch shorty in this long, I'm <laughs> I'm cool with her doing something. Like, what time frame we talking about? If you don't plan, if you planning on calling me back mm-hmm. or getting in contact with me, or if I try to contact you, you plan in your mind, like, I'm gonna talk to him. If he, you gotta wait at least three months before you start oh, talking yeah. to somebody That's else. That's light. Like before you start talking to yeah, somebody yeah, else. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I mean? So three months, like you ain't talking to a period, or you just hitting up. You know what I'm saying? Every I'm saying now like, no, no, no. If me and you ain't spoke, you you need to do this for you, just your own for self. Yourself. Though. Just like Cleanse cool yourself, yourself down. Yeah, like yeah, yeah. take your little cool down period. Like I'm, I ain't spoke to him. If he called back when in this time span, I'm gonna mess with him. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, don't like. But I mean, like, bro, this like a new school. This like new. It is. It's a, it's a new <laughs> game. It's a new, new shit. rules. You know what I mean? And we from the old school, from a different cloth, from a different time. Where you like, man, like, I always felt like, man, if you are dealing with me, there's no reason to deal with anybody else. Yeah. Period. You know what I'm saying? Even if I ain't giving you everything you want or you think you need, you shouldn't even consider that. So my thing is. Once you consider it, it's like even thinking about it, like, man, like you thought about it. But once you actually do it, it's like you did that. Like, yeah. Like, how could you live with yourself? How could, you know what I'm saying? So, how dare you? How dare you do that? Right. But now, this one thing I was telling a friend of mine, uh, <laughs> I'm trying to explain to her, like, if you're dealing with, like, me for me, mm-hmm. I need you to. I want to. I want to feel like I got something that's special. I want you to feel. I want to feel like you're special. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like it don't feel special if anybody can have you. Yo, that's man. Like I don't feel like I'm walking in the room. If it, even if they ain't had you, they can say, 
if they can come out of their mouth and say, I could have had you. Exactly. I could have had her. I, I, I was don't want to. I, I don't want wanna. her. I don't want her. Like, or, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah. I, so. I was talking to her about it. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You got to, like, cherish your own. Yourself. Being Self more. love. Yeah. Like, you got to just put that and put, like, a grip, get a grip of it and say, you know something, man? I ain't finna be like, like, I'm finna, like, because this is sacred. Like, yeah. you know what I mean? Like, it's like a real gift. Like, if I exactly. give it to somebody, it got to yeah, be, yeah, you know what I mean? Special. So I'm trying to explain, like, that's the type of chick. Like, I ain't trying to, you know what I mean? Like, like if I ain't out here just wilding. Yeah. yeah. Like, if you, like, catching bodies and shit. If I'm dealing with you, I consider you different. Right. Like, like, for, like if I'm dealing with you, I consider you different. And they go back to that. They The young girls, they ain't got no, uh, <laughs> they don't have a uh, wonder why they call you bitch no more. They don't that's have that song. That song, dude. Like. Cause the younger, even if they were doing, if even if the chicks were doing it, we were coming up. That wonder why you call you bitch. They kind of like, I can't be no hoe. Yeah. Like the girls nowadays, they be like, look, women should just you could just live your life. You could be with you. You could do this. You could do that. Do you? You ain't no hoe. Yolo. Like, whoa. Yeah. Yeah. Like you know what I mean? It's like a whole different. There's certain terms, just man. Just doing that, what they want to do. And certain things that that messed up the culture. You know what I'm saying? Like certain things. Like <laughs> I heard this. <laughs> one OG said, and I thought about it. The bottle service messed up a lot of things, like in, in the culture and in our community. Bottle service. Mm. You know what I mean? Because niggas weren't buying bottles back then. You know what I mean? Because niggas want like niggas just kind of just chilling. Like the bottle service is like, look at me. Yeah, niggas want to get bottles. Look at me. Yeah, that's what that is. Attention. Attention. Now let me ask you this: What do you feel about? Niggas who always want they want to get a section. They go to the club. They want to get a That's section. That's part of that bottle service, like and yeah. get some bottles mm-hmm. and want to like sit and they, they want, want everybody to gather around a section and look at me. Look at me. Is that what is that? What is that? Is that like some attention shit? Insecure. That's an insecurity. Insecure. Right. Because without them bottles, they ain't looking at you. Without that section. They ain't checking for you. So that attention with the sparklers and look at me, I'm buying bottles. Mess the game up because them chicks ain't checking for you, bro. They ain't checking for you now. You just got, they can sit down and rest their feet because they fear them from the hills. Right. They ain't checking for you. Right. You know what I mean? So that's why I say bottle service messed the, the culture up because <laughs> niggas who getting bottle service now weren't getting bottle service 10 years ago. Why? So, what, but what's the significance of wanting to like get bottles? Mm. Look at me. Look like, at me. So let me see. So they. So they. I feel like it's. They turned, they said, this is what I always wanted to be. Mm. This is, I wanted to be this. I wanted to be that. I wanted to be that nigga. Mm-hmm. So this is kind of what made them, because these are the niggas who, you know what I mean, for for lack of a better word, didn't have no no, uh, no uh, chicks growing up. Not really, you know what I'm saying? Not they, really. They was like kind of like, kind of uh, on the dusty side. Niggas was lame, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So now they say, man, I'm finna... Cause even cause even with us, well, you was different though. But even with like, <laughs> even with me, I didn't have everything. You know what I'm saying? But I made do with what I had. You know what I mean? So it's like you come from a time. It's like man, if nigga know how to dress, like you ain't gotta have everything to be fly. You know what I'm saying? Like niggas was dusty and didn't know what to do. <laughs> like you know what I'm saying? Like they couldn't make, they couldn't make do with what they had. You know what I'm saying? Right. So, I mean, so niggas always been like, niggas just lost, bro. Right. Niggas really just lost. And as adults, they still trying to find themselves. Right. But I, going by it the wrong way, though. Right. I feel like, uh, and we spoke about this not too long ago, the same way crack came through in the 80s. Oh, man. And, and ruined the black community. Oh, man. Social media... Has done the same thing it's, in the two thousands. It's done the same thing. We gonna look back 10, 15 years from now and was like, man, people was addicted to social media like they was a crack. They didn't even know it though. 
ain't even know it. Yeah, I mean, it's definitely uh, when this is what you do, this is your, like, daily routine. Oh, man. Is to get on there and then make, do a video. Oh, man. Or some kind of picture or something. Oh, man. And, I, and I'm not even mad at it for women. No, nah, no, Because nah, nah. women like attention. You know, they need attention. People like attention. And it's women, just, yeah. they be wanting something. You know what I mean? It's like, you know, kind of expected with a, a chick. But for a man, to mm. see a man use social media like a woman, mm. what does that say about that person? Tell me what you think about that. When a, a grown man use social media platform to express himself, like a woman, he's he's attention seeking attention. You know what I'm saying? Like, bro, lacking something. You know what I'm saying? Like, for a person, for a man to go on social media to seek approval, he don't know who he is. Mm. Mm-hmm. You can tell his father wasn't around. Yeah, but not necessarily his father. Niggas went some some OGs, somebody that had some consequences alone. He wasn't outside with your though. actions. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah, because it's consequences to your actions when you like around like some OG niggas. The niggas gonna check you. Like, what you, you doing? Yeah, like, yeah, like come on, chill out. Certain shit like white people see like I be cool. I don't be doing too much. Yeah, or when I'm like on another, like I'm being like real like disrespectful type shit. I already then weighed the consequences mm-hmm. of the situation. And that's what I'm looking for. Exactly. I'm always expecting the worst. Yeah. Because I've been around the situation to where I learned that if you ain't ready for it, cause you're going to get it. Yeah. Like, you're going to get the worst that's going to happen. Yeah. Like, you, something might happen to you, you ain't even like, doing that. It's like, who your OG was? You ain't got no OG. It's obvious, though. Because how you moving and how you maneuvering, you've been faking for a long time. And think about social media it brings out, it, it really tells you who people are. Like, I ain't got to know you, I, I could, but I can look in your timeline and be like, oh, this kind of person that person is. It's obvious. A fake a fake person going to always be uh, a fake person. Exactly. Let me, um before, like, we're going to wrap it on up, man. All let me, right. uh, let me, got one or two things to say real quick. Um, so, all right. Question is, I guess the other question is, loving multiple women. Can you love more than one woman? Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. On if you got the homes, right mindset. If you got the right mindset. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I'm going to say this real quick, man. I got a couple of things I'm going to say before we leave. All right. I want to talk about uh, what a real, what's a real friend. Mm. What are real friends? Mm. And the characteristics of a real friend, and what a real friend would and wouldn't do. Okay. And with you, a real friend wouldn't send a message to you through someone else if you have my number. Hit my a real friend wouldn't do that. A real friend, if I'm upset with you. I'm going to contact you. Every time. You're going to know I'm upset. You're going to know. You're going to know directly, like, and why I'm upset, because you know me. Exactly. Yeah. Um, A real friend doesn't do things for you to get something back. Oh, uh, man, how you talking? When you going, when 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 that's supposed to be your friend is uh, going through some kind of loss mm-hmm. or dealing with something, you're supposed to be empathetic. And sympathetic to that friend. If you're a real friend, exactly, you don't do it to when you get something going down. You expect them to do that for you, mm-hmm. and now you're mad. Mm-hmm. You didn't do it because mm-hmm. you did it because that was your friend. If you're out a of, real friend, out of just love, out of love, out of love, because you're a real friend. Yeah. When you're doing something, you know, just because you care for that person, you know what I'm saying it's. Uh, Integrity, right. just doing the right thing because that's your friend. Right. A real friend does engage um, how close you are by the amount of support mm. you give them 
if they haven't reciprocated the same thing. You mm-hmm. understand? Facts. The a real friend doesn't forget mm. how much you did for them. Niggas forget too early. Right? Yeah. A real friend wouldn't do that. Real friends wouldn't. Mm-hmm. You understand? Mm-hmm. So, um, uh, let me, let me, you know, let me, cut, let me shout a couple things out real quick. I was telling somebody, I was like, man, I argue all the time. Fighting. You know what I'm saying? But we know, like, and no, like, all right, nigga, you know what it is. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, so. W- like, niggas know what it like is. Like, when you need something. Yeah. When you call, when you call me. When I come through, yeah. nine times out of ten, ninety nine point nine times out of ten, yeah. same vice versa. I don't know what time you didn't come through. Beyond which, this is what real real friends do. Mm-hmm. How long we been getting money together? Yeah, How long when we start? We got to start oh, getting man. money. Ninety nine together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember some stories. <laughs> business doing business together. Yeah, we used yeah. throw parties. Yeah, throw parties. Everybody know. The real ones know. We try to include everybody. Everybody. Right? We, we, we. We was young too. 95% of the conversation we have, we speak about business Mm -hmm. and building, uh, building together. Facts. Right? Um, No, we don't play the social media games. Nah, nah, nah. You know what I'm saying? But before we get out of here, what's our. Toya, what's the web? What's the what's the page? Oh man, she out here doing lashes. S- support our people. So every week we be gonna drop the black owned businesses. People, wait, out wait, here. wait, no, wait, wait, wait. Before you say that, before okay. you say that, give me the give you the info. Yeah, I want you just, just you know read it out. <clears throat> well, till you find it. Um. Uh. <laughs> Paramount. Let me give me hold on. Okay, I got you. Okay. Paramount Auto Sales. Okay. Forty eleven First Avenue North, Birmingham, Alabama. Quality uh business. Luxury cars. Um go ahead. Last your skin, beauty, cosmetic, and personal care. Um, it's on social media. Lash dot two skin. Come through and get your lashes right. I seen some pictures like they look mad real. Like I couldn't even tell it was like quality, quality. Business. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah, yeah. I was like, damn. Quality business. Quality, y'all. Uh. Um, Lashesskin.com. Quality business. Uh, one of my homeboys shot by Buddha mm-hmm. on Facebook gaming. He's the he has the gaming channel, and they get into real grown up. Adult topics They do And why they're doing gaming So look It's, uh, it's popping here So one night I'm watching I'm like yo that game Look mad fun I don't know how to play it But I'm just watching it Like they yeah, yeah, yeah. And the whole time They politicking about Just yeah. issues Like in the culture And social world I'm yeah. like man That's kind of cool yeah. I don't game But I'm just watching And conversating Yeah Yeah, Check, yeah, yeah. yeah. Shot, It's shot by Buddha On uh, Facebook gaming um, Quality Conversation uh, Shot by Buddha on Instagram and Facebook if you need photo shoot or videography. Mm-hmm. Quality. Uh quality work. Definitely quality um, work. You got any heating in a heating and AC issues. Uh want you to hit our uh, email, real ones no P O D at gmail.com uh, and in the subject line put uh heating and uh air issues and put a contact number in the body a name and a contact number and we're gonna set you in the right direction uh if you uh have automotive automotive issues uh if you're looking for a car and you need something that's more specific to your needs and the money that you have hit the email real ones no P-O-D at gmail.com and in the subject line put Fred put mm-hmm. a name and a contact number and we'll set you in the right direction um, if you have did you have something else? I'm just saying if you're in the city midweek vibe be trying to have a good time okay. the vault man good R&B Wednesday holler at my people man east side 
PJ, Hollywood J. That's that's uh, PJ is uh, R and B Wednesday. Yeah. And uh, S- smooth Saturdays. Seductive smooth Saturdays is in Hollywood. Yeah, black owned business. Hollywood J. Hollywood J. At the vault on Saturdays. Quality. Quality. A man. quality night out. Oh man. Quality. Good time. Good, good quality. Good night energy. Out. Um. If you. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Uh. What was I about to say? If you need your car wash, Chosen One Detailing, Donald Pokey Cotton, come to your job and hook you up, get you right. Quality. Quality. We're talking quality work. Quality work. Um, if you uh, you haven't, you need uh, you need lawn care done. Oh uh, man. You need um. Your gut is clean. Right. Uh, me and my guy Sam. We'll take care of that. Uh, hit the email. <laughs> Real ones know pod at gmail.com. The subject line, put lawn service and put a name and contact number. We do um, residential and commercial. Quality, Quality work. Quality work. We have uh, Real Ones Know apparel and merchandise coming. Hats, hoodies, sweats. T-shirts, quality apparel, quality work, quality clothing. Oh, man. We got the merch coming soon. Right. The merch is going to be crazy. Uh, crazy. Um, The other the other merchandise we're working on, uh, the uh, melanated, mel- melanated leopards. Mm. You know what I mean? Um, It's like these are time capsule pieces, collector's items. T-shirts, sweatshirts, hoodies. Um, on the way, coming soon. Yes, baseball tees, yeah, all that quality work. Yeah. Um, if you want to promote a business, if you want to, um, you have a, 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 um, service, or, um, you have a business or a service that you need to. Be promoted, hit the email. Real ones no POD at gmail.com. We look we need quality. That's what we 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 uh we're into the quality work. If you do good quality work, we'll promote you. Uh no if you need a good barber, check out Birmingham House of Cuts uh in the festival over in Crestwood. Mm. Got my boy uh Jimmy, Jay, Tory, good quality cuts. If you need to get your hair cut, it's over. You can Google it. Yeah. Birmingham House of Cuts. Um, also, talking. my barber, too, though. I got to shout him out. Shout him out. Uh, appointments only. Everything A1. Spencer Capelli. He on uh, Facebook and also Instagram. A1, man. A1. If your appointment at 915, you're in there. 915, you out of there by 930. On the day, homies. Good work. Quality. Quality. And we uh, what is it? Fresh out the grease. Oh man, midfield. Gotta support the people. Let me get the address to the good brother. Yeah man, good food. Um, he got a hot and honey wing. It's amazing. It's like a hot sauce with honey. And that's uh, fourteen twenty nine Woodward Road, Midfield, Alabama. Yeah. Fresh out the grease. Tell them real ones. No sent you. No doubt. Good quality. Quality. Quality work. Um, so, um, you know, check everybody out. And, uh, you know, we got that. That's good work. And I'm going to say this before we get on up out of here. Papa Do's is pigeon food. <laughs> dogs howl at the moon. The moon never howls back. You can throw rocks at the sun. The sun will never throw a rock back. Real ones know. We too big for that. On the dead homies. Now, real is not just a presumption. It's a feel. Mm. You can't just say it. You got to be it. If you fake, it's going to show. Real ones know. Gone. Gang. Hey, the real ones know.